Hey guys, it's Marvin Red here, and I'm here with my girlfriend, Ashley, and my friend, Blaine, and we just got, the con just ended, and we just got so much free stuff! You'll see it on my, you'll see it on my YouTube video, but we got this bag, we got like, so, we, he got, that man this bag got is all wigs. free! People at the end of the con were like, take it for free! I got so much stuff, it is, you'll see it. I'll do like a little show and tell, but are you gonna show them? This more? bag is all eyes. All show them one. Eyes. Hey guys, it's Marvin Red here, and I am back from Dollcon Dallas. Um, it was super duper awesome. I had the best time ever. I made so many friends. If you didn't get a chance to go this year, you really have to go next year. Fingers crossed that they hold a second one because this was their first ever um, Dollcon Dallas. Um, Everyone was so nice. The staff was amazing. The All of the people who came were awesome. Everyone from the Dallas Fort Worth doll community was so welcoming, so nice, so accommodating. It was awesome. The vendors were great. The price was fantastic. All of the panels were super awesome. Um, Ascenva BJD was there. She's cool, as always. Um, and it was just two days of nonstop fun. Um, and I wanted to do a little show and tell of what I got and tell some funny stories from the con. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And yes, I will address this. Um, <laughs> and I'll do a little promotional deal. Hello, my name is Marvin Stearns and I volunteer at the table at St. George's. Um, if you're in the Fredericksburg area, um, my church, St. George's Episcopal Church, does a market style food pantry, no questions asked, come get your groceries, um, every Tuesday in Market Square in downtown Fredericksburg, Virginia. So if you are in need of that, or if you know someone who's in need of it, please come on down or tell them about it because we want to get food to as many people as we possibly can. Um, but today's Wednesday and yesterday when I was at the table, I don't know what I did. I totally hurt my wrist. Like, so I was like carrying like, I think it was like a box of like bananas or something. And like, I picked it up and like, I cracked my wrist the wrong way. Um, and it's been hurting ever since and I can't put any pressure on it or like move my wrist without it hurting. So I put it in this little wrist stabilizy thingy and hoping that it'll just go away <laughs> um ah. but yes i just felt like i need to address that since you guys are gonna be like seeing it in the video <laughs> um let me go grab aubrey and let me go grab my boys let me get them i should have like done this before i turned the camera on but like oh well Come here, boys. Oh. Oh, my lord. Okay. Here are the boys, and then let me grab September. And okay, we're all ready for the video. Sorry about that. I don't know why I didn't do this ahead of time. Um, you can see my dog, Cowboy, back here. Can you? Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this right now. Don't, don't do this. If you hump me on video, we're going to have a problem. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. The, do the dogs are taking over the video. Um, I want to show you all the cool stuff that I got at Dolcon. So, oh, and it's all in this big pink bag. Um, well, a couple things didn't fit, but I'll give you the lowdown on all that. Let me grab the stuff. Okay. So, this first item from Delicon Dallas, um, this was in a box of free things. So, on the last day of the con, there was a buy, swap, sell uh, meet. And with, like, ten minutes left of it, a bunch of people were just like, I have a bag of free stuff, please someone take it. Don't make me take this back home with me. So, I ran over, like, a little goblin and like grabbed a bunch of stuff out of the free bin. They were like, take as much as you want, please. So this awesome suitcase, briefcase thing was in the free bin and inside of it was 
all of these little tiny hair clips um they're hair clips that are literally like this big it's so cool like they have the awesome awesomest hair clips in here and little tiny hair bands and so that was what was inside this now i also got and like all the stuff is like mixed up in here there is no like so this is inappropriate so if you uh this next thing is inappropriate so if you are underage uh please look away um this is a <laughs> this was another free thing it was in a box of or a, a bag of free things that uh me and my friend took um if you know what it is then you know what it is <laughs> i just think it's super duper funny i don't think i have anybody that will like anyone in my crew would really want it uh i could probably give it to lula bell for shits and giggles um but <laughs> so that's that was funny i thought um i got this necklace um i made a friend and his name is blaine at the dog convention we realized that we both live like relatively close to each other so that was really cool um and he gave me this necklace it is it's not real human teeth but it's like a choker with like human fake human teeth on it so that was really cool that's for sasha got that for her because she has her jar of real human teeth up in her little laboratory apothecary shop um i also got this tiny little cookie cutter because we made and they'll they're in here somewhere uh there was a workshop of tiny clay cookie making and oh here they are here are my two tins of cookie what are you doing so i made this little cookie and oh god i threw it on the floor not having wrist mobility is kind of difficult what are you doing are you knocking things over And I made this like sandwich cookie and this cookie with like ice cream scoops on it. <laughs> uh, so I made that in the, um, the clay cookie making panel that I went to or workshop. Um, then I got that was weird. My video just turned off. Let me. Hello. I don't know where that cut off at, but. <laughs> okay. Uh, this next thing. This is just like materials from a bookmaking workshop I went to. A tiny bookbinding workshop, and I will find the book in here somewhere. <laughs> um, I also got this wig in the box of free stuff. I bought these awesome, it says the doll maker Mon Monrovia. I, I can't read cursive that well, but I got these awesome pants for she. Um, I got these Barbie pants for free. I got this little skirt for free. And this hat goes on. I'm not gonna put him on him, it looks silly. But um oh you can't even see him. So I also got this wicker chair for free. <laughs> and Zimmer and Maven are sitting in it and it's usually it goes in their room. But um if I can get Zimmer up, oh my god. This is my Eiffel House EID boy. Um he is Zimmer, one of my the characters from my D, &D campaign. Um, and he is wearing this awesome coat and blouse that I got from Traveler in Thyme. So, that's super awesome. Okay, okay, that was a loud crash, but I promise he's okay. I also got this awesome set from one of the vendors, and I, oh shoot, I can't remember, ugh, I can't remember what their name was, I'm so sorry. I got a bunch of stuff from them, though. Um... There's this um, quill, 
and I got this set for Sasha. This is like a whole set. So I said it comes with that, this little jar of ink, and three scrolls. Um, so someone texted me. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. This video is gonna have so many pauses in it. I'm sorry. Um, this was the wicker chair that I got for free. Oh my god, this is awesome. Okay, um, <clears throat> and then I have September here wearing one of the outfits that I got. And I didn't get this as an outfit, but I got these all as separate pieces and I kind of paired them together. Um, I got these awesome, like, suspended bloomers and this cute little pentacle top. Um, no, a pentacle is not satanic. It is a protective symbol. Thank you. Um, <laughs> these cute, adorable, little Lolita type shoes. Um, and I got them for her and I think that this outfit is really cute. Um, I got this awesome candle from the same people who made the, um, the quill and ink. Um, it is really awesome. This is also for Sasha. Um, I got this in the bag of free stuff and I was thinking I was gonna like cut it and make a, like have this be a shirt and then like warmers out of the bottom. I also got a gun holster, which I think will be really co cool for um, Lou. Sorry, I'm having like hiccups or something. <laughs> um, this freebie little monster high dress. Uh, I got this little pastel hat for free. Um, okay, so during one of the workshops, and you can see really cute photos of it here. Um, during one of the workshops, it was a how to knit a felt plushie workshop. So this is what I made, and I embroidered an A for Aubrey on the front, because this is going to be for her bedroom. Um, then I have this sweater paired with these leg warmers so that's gonna be a whole look for my sd girls <laughs> i got um this and it's like an overskirt and an underskirt and i thought that was really cool um i got this little smock thing oh um, it has pockets right here and i thought that was really cute for maybe like for Cass. um what are you doing what are, you, what are you doing? Oh, you can't see him. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, mister, what's your plan? Cowboy, cowboy, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> okay, Um. and then I also got for a freebie this little sofa and I think I'll probably put this in Claire's bedroom um for now just because I wanted to make her a day bed in her little bedroom but um I just really haven't had the time so sofa for right now it is free sofa at that too um this cute little dress type thing it looks like a little smock as well with working pockets in the front um, this would probably be for, like, the alley would probably fit into this, my little married all around. Um, I got this awesome set. Um, this is this awesome little strawberry dress, um, with these two little strawberry plushies on the front, and the sleeves are so cute, and it comes with these little bloomers which are so cute, which have little strawberries on them. Th that's one of my favorite things I got. It's so cute. Um, this cute little skirt was in the bag of freebies. It has like little bird dudes on it. Um, I bought these leggings for she at one of the room sales on Saturday night. So these are super awesome. Um, I don't, this was from the bag of free stuff and I was like, this is a look. I have to keep it. It's a look. 
that is quite the statement piece um i got two of these msd shirts but they actually fit on my smart doll um so avery was able to wear one too so one side says doll con dallas and the other one is a little doll con dallas mascot girl um and then oh so the and then i made blaine he customizes monster highs and i can put his instagram down below check him out he's the coolest and he actually gave me this monster high that he customized um her name is emily and if you her face is like a mask and if you take it off it's like demon mouth isn't that like the coolest thing ever oh it's so cool i love her so much i'm gonna put her with my small collection of monster highs um, this was another thing that I got from the people who I got the candle and the pen and qu or the quill and ink from. This is a bag of, I think it's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight little plants. And something that they were, uh, they were really excited about when I showed it to me. So I'm going to be excited and show it to you too. It's a little plant in a planter, but the dirt comes out. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> so I love that. These are for Allie. She, um, Allie is going to be my little botanist. Um, I've been connecting with Allie a lot more lately, ever since I cut her wig short. Um, she's up there, but I cut, I cut her wig like a blunt cut short. And I feel like I've really been bonding with her since I did that. And she's going to be a botanist just like me. So that's i mean i love that um also from them i got this bag of it has a gardening magazine like catalog in it and then a bunch of little seed packs um this is also for Allie. um this little headband with smiley faces on it i got this cute little jacket and i can't remember if i paid for this or got it for free but if i paid for it i didn't pay more than like a dollar a lot of this stuff, like, the people were like, I'll give it to you for a dollar at the buy swap sell meet. So, that's, I mean, that was pretty cool. Oh, this I also got at the buy swap, swap sell meet. Um, let me find the other pieces to it. I was really excited about this because Poppy has her little workshop. Um, it's a little ironing board that folds up and also a little iron. And I got this set for $5, which was really awesome because Poppy sews. And so I thought this would be a cute little um, extra for her uh, hobby, bleh, hobby room. Um, I got this absolutely adorable little knit beanie for Aubrey. I bought that. It was like bucks maybe um this cute little scarf I got for free this cute little hat I got for free um actually Ashley got me these um they're like little charms um one's a little sun one's a little fairy lady and the other one is a pentacle again symbol of protection the five directions and the five elements thank you <laughs> um i actually made this but um i made this mask for aubrey and it has like glitter flowers on it and i made it for her for the con because you had to wear a mask in the con so i all of my kids were wearing masks there which i thought was fun i also got this little set for free it's like a dress and like these little shorts and it ca also came with this little hat so I thought that was really cute these are for probably for Allie as well Ugh. um I also got these two little plushies for free I think these will go on like Aubrey's bed I got also this little like um thigh satchel so it goes around the waist here and around the thigh here and like it sits on the outside of your thigh so i thought that was like super awesome um oh my god oh this is one of the big ticket items i bought um this is a smart doll official 
what was it like um rock climbing harness um it comes in these three parts i'm having like hiccups i'm sorry if you can hear that um it's look official mirai um i got it for such a steal for what these are going for on this i've seen some like for like a hundred i've seen them for like like maybe as low as like 75 on the second hand market i got this for 40 dollars, and i know it it still kind of seems like a lot for, for like an official smart doll thing 40 dollars is like a like a steal so i was pretty excited about this this is the the most i spent i think on a singular item <laughs> but um oh my god and i got this set this is a dungeons and dragons set and i don't know if you know that well no you know this me and my doll friends are all in a D, D campaign that is where maven and my oh god come here boy my lovely zimmer are from our D, &D campaign um so i'm just so i don't even know where to start i'm so excited so there's what comes in the set is this little notepad with like um graph paper in it um this little folder and it has inside oh you might have caught a glimpse um mini character sheets holy shit isn't that so cool i <laughs> I was head over heels when I saw this. I had to I had to get this set immediately. And it's but wait, there's more. Um this little bag and I got to pick out which bag I wanted. And inside the bag are you guessed it. Miniature D&D &D dice. Let me get that D20 up here for you. Look how cute. I'm going to roll it. See what I roll. A two. Oh, it's better than a one. That's what I usually roll, so it's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me pack these up, and then the piece de resistance of this set is the player's handbook. Um, it's hardcover, front and back, and this is a completely filled in abridged version of the book so it has all of the actual information and pictures in it but it's been like cut down to fit into such like a small little but it's like you can read this and play D. &D. it is so cool it's so incredibly cool um I feel really dumb that I can't remember, like, the names of any of the vendors that I got stuff from. Oh, excuse me. He's knocked me out of the way with his big butt. Mister? Mister, you're causing havoc. Hey. Mister, sit down. Thank you. Um, I can't remember any of the... Oh, my God. He just knocked Dandelion off the sofa. What are you doing? What are you... Is that comfortable? Um, yeah, but, oh, oh, also that came with the set is this itty-bitty pencil. So let me put that down there. Okay. I also got, from the same people I got those little plants and the candle and stuff from, this aged notebook paper. And there's like a bunch of sheets in here. I also made, in the mini book binding class, I made this little tiny book, and it is fully, like, binded. It's awesome. Um, and that's for Allie. I also got, for free, this little Monster High dress. And it's coming to the end. I'm sorry if this is boring you. You don't have to watch it, I promise. I won't be upset if this is boring for you and you don't want to watch it. It's okay. <laughs> Um, I also got these two little leg warmers for furry fuzzy leg warmers. Um, this little top for free. I think that'll look, I got this top and these little swim trunks so that it could be like a swimsuit for Allie. I thought that would be cute. Um, I don't know who would fit this, but this is a little brat's top. 
It's also free. Um, and I noticed that the second wave of um, mini toy brands came out. So I got like the suit, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's like a little cosplay <laughs> set. Um, I got this water jump rope, which I am not going to lie to you. I'm jealous and I, I want one. And then this itty bitty tiny little boogie board, which will be really cute for Poppy's BJD. Um, and she's new BJD, which I will be getting to in a moment. Yes, I did buy a doll at the con. Um, there was one panel actually where the person running it was like, who said they weren't going to get a doll this weekend? And most people weren't going to get a doll, like weren't planning on it. And they said, how many people have not bought a doll this weekend? One person raised their hands. Everyone else had bought dolls. <laughs> typical, typical doll people. Um, so I also got this little Monster High tablet and this little Monster High. I don't think this is actually Monster High, is it? No, I think this is just. It's just a little phone. It's monster high size, I guess. Also, from the free table, got these two, like, like metal weapons, which are so cool. Oh, yeah, these are, these are heavy. These are, these are some heavy bitches up in here. I got these two. And these are for Claire. Um... Also, they gave, which with each bag, you got a little Dolcon Dallas pin. And since I was one of the first 25 people to buy tickets for the con originally two years ago, um, oh, my nose is itchy. I got, I'm on the founder's wall for Dolcon Dallas and I got a founder's badge. And the founder's badge is basically, you got to commission one of the staff to draw something custom on your badge for you so on this badge and this was my mom's badge um is poppy and this one oh my gosh this one is she isn't that just so darling and then also where let me grab i'm just grabbing she real fast um, it's because she still has her badge on. Aubrey doesn't have her badge on anymore, but the dolls got little tiny doll con Dallas badges. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Um, and then I'll show you Aubrey. So Aubrey's wearing this little Hello, K oops, Hello Kitty like PJ set. Um, but I actually got these from two different vendors. I bought the PJ pants from a vendor for like five bucks. And then she, like a couple minutes later, ran across the room to me and she was like, I found the perfect top to go with that, but it's at this other vendor table. And so she took me over there and little, lo and behold, was this cute little top that went totally perfect with these pants. Um, and she gave it to me for a dollar. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, that's like another example of what I mean when I say that everyone there was like super friendly and really nice. It was literally, they were calling us a family and that I like, that's kind of what we were. Um, so it was really great. Also ring doll was one of like the, like, I don't know how you see like sponsors. They donated a doll for one of the grand prize for the door prizes. And they, um, Gave out like a bunch of like cute little ring doll postcards and stickers and like ring doll guides. So that was cool. Um, and then the grand prize of the weekend. Oh, besides actually, hold on. Actually, I did get another big ticket item. And it was this Lolita dress. I don't know. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you, I can't tell. <laughs> but yes, it was this Lolita dress. Um, and it came with a little bonnet, a little headband, um, and a cute little blouse to go under it. And it was, it was actually my first Lolita outfit, so I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, but besides that, 
got this tiny little box for $80. So, some of you may know what's in this box. Logan Dolls was at Dollcon Dallas, and now that you've heard his name, you probably know what it is. This is one of his mini garage kits. I got mini Demon Valentine. Um, so she came in this, ah, uh, hiccups. She came in this little box, um, with some string and all of her pieces. She was basically a garage, she was a garage kit. So I will show her to you now. Um, me and Ashley and my friend Blaine, um, it was a group effort to put her together in our hotel room. <laughs> um, we went and bought sandpaper and exacto knives and stuff so that we could put her together in the hotel room after I got her. Um, but here she is. Oh my god, she's so precious. I got this little dress there too for her. Um, she's so beautiful. I want to just paint her and get her a wig. And I actually bought her for she. Um, this is she's very first resin doll. So yay she. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's all the things that I got at the con. Um, and I just, I, the, another story I wanted to tell, well, there were two. Okay, the first one, I'm gonna insert a video for it. Um, after I tell the story, I'll put the little video in. Asenva was running a panel where she had asked a bunch of people on your YouTube what were doll problems that they had. And she got them all done on postcards and she gave each of us, each group of us, it was like either one or two to three people in a group. Um, one of a card with a problem on it. And we, as BJD engineers, um, had to solve, the, make a product to solve that problem and then act out a commercial for it, which was really fun. So I will put the video of me do like doing our little commercial here. <laughs> Yeah, so the issue was that my doll is too big for my shelf. What do I do? <laughs> so when I when Asenva was telling us about this, I turned to my friend Blaine and I said, I was born for this. <laughs> um, I love public speaking. I am such an extrovert. I absolutely love improv. So I was I was like, yes, I was born for this. Um and then another story, which is like heartwarming was the woman who won the ring doll door prize he was like a big like 70 something centimeter boy she like had him out in the fender room and she brought him into the hangout room and she was getting him dressed and somebody was like what happened to his hand she looked and one of his fingers were gone and you could tell that she was devastated we were looking around the table the second people in that room knew that somebody there was in distress and they had lost a doll finger, their doll got broken. Everyone was looking. Everyone was down on the ground, like trying to sort through like boxes. I ran into the vendor room and I was like, somebody lost a doll finger. And I like, I told them it was gonna be like this big Caucasian skin tone, SD boy finger. People were on the ground. People were like looking under tables. People were like looking on top of their tables. We finally found the finger in some packaging and we got it. And all of the staff was super nice. The staff was like coming over and comforting her being like, being like, we'll find it. You know, everyone's looking for it. Even if we don't find it, we'll get in contact with Ring Doll, get you a replacement. Um, we finally found it. Br Blaine found it and he was like, I found the finger. And everybody's like, the finger. And I ran into the vendor room and I was like, the finger has been found. And everyone was like, yeah. It was really great. It was so, it was the best con experience I've ever had. Um, it was my first doll convention, but I've gone to anime conventions before and they don't hold a candle. They didn't hold a candle to this. 
Like I went to Otakon and Mid-Atlantic Anime Convention and then I went to Comic-Con in Portland and they did not hold a candle. I'm telling you right now to Dallas Doll Con. The community that we created there was awesome. It was great. Everybody was friends by the end of the weekend, honestly, seriously. Um, it was great and I had the best time ever and I cannot wait for next year, fingers crossed. Um, and I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Sasha, what are you doing?